You think I can't talk my way out of a ticket? I am Barney Stinson, master of manipulation. If I can talk a stripper into paying me for a lap dance, I think I can talk my way out of a ticket. Challenge, accept, wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't get it. Oh, Ted, accept Ted. I get it. Now. Please, can I take it off? You may not. With a K. A little Thai pun. Hey, ain't no thing but a chicken wing, mamacita. Who am I? You're a sophisticated, scotch-swilling, cigar-smoking, red meat-eating, gun-toting New Yorker. What you are not is a massage-giving, windsurfing, bongo-playing, teetotaling, vegan, peacenik hippie like your soon-to-be ex-boyfriend, Gael. Back me up here, Ted. I just got invited to the Architects Ball, the annual gala that honors the city's greatest architects. This is the social event of the year. You take a girl to the Architects Ball, brother, you're going to third base. I can't decide. They're both awesome. Mm, if only architects had two balls. Right, Ted? But back when the stand first opened in 1955, you could get one for only a nipple. Reporting live, Robin Scherbatsky, Metro News One. There she is. Hey, is it cold in here? Because I can kind of see Robin's nickels. <laughs> the Namaste Yoga and Meditation Collective. I don't know about you guys, but Namaste here any longer than I have to. <laughs> I'm telling you, within three days. Oh, here he comes. Switch to big words. Within a triad of solar periods, you'll recognize your dearth of compatibility with your paramour and conclude your association. My journey was transformative, and I reassert my commitment to both the aforementioned paramour and the philosophies he espouses. What are we talking of? Baseball? This is all gonna return to masticate you in the gluteals. Support my hypothesis, Ted. I'm just jubilant, my former paramour is jubilant. That was not cool, Ted. Construction! That wasn't cool, Ted. Oh, it's great to see you getting some recognition. Thank you. It's been a long haul. The first painting I ever sold, I used the money to get my car fixed. You might say I used it to make my van go. <laughs> <laughs> Can't raise our kids here. They'll grow up slanted. If we have a daughter, we'll have to call her Eileen. You have a price, Erickson, and I will find it. When the end of day is nigh, I'll have taken off this tie. I'm gonna like the way I look. I guarantee it. So boogie boarding. Boogie boarding. So I was trying to get... Dear Marshall, I do not like that stupid hat. I want to beat it with a bat. Or maybe stab it with a fork. It makes you look like such a dork. If you end an argument with a rhyme, it's convincing all the time. Yeah, it's why in our apartment, if you're hoping to score, don't leave your socks on the floor. And she hasn't since. We'll end up out of a job, all thanks to some stupid, only sort of awesome lion head. Yeah. Better get used to that lion head. As of tomorrow, it's going to be there till the end of times. And all because of my sweet, sweet rhymes. By the way, did I mention those robes really do you all justice? I'm just saying that you're all guilty of looking sharp. Mr. Erickson, please. No, seriously. Robin, you should get the slap. I mean, you're a great slapper. In fact, I want to study slapping under your tutelage. I want to be your slap apprentice. Don't sell yourself short there, Teddy. You're a slapping rock star. Your name should be Eric Slapton. OK. OK, guys, this is torture. Just put me in the chair. Slapping from. And get it over with. Do you have a baby guy? Did Guy the Guy Guy get you a baby guy? Come on, it's an adventure. No, it's not an adventure. It's a mistake. OK, yes, it's a mistake. I know it's a mistake, but there are certain things in life where you know it's a mistake, but you don't really know it's a mistake, because the only way to really know it's a mistake is to make the mistake and look back and say, yep, that was a mistake. So really, the bigger mistake would be to not make the mistake, because then you go your whole life not really knowing if something is a mistake or not. And damn it, I've made no mistakes. I've done all of this, my life, my relationship, my career, mistake-free. Does any of this make sense to you? 
I don't know, you said mistake a lot. Thank you, pal, you and your little friends. You just had to tell me. You just had to give in to my incessant begging. You said that you wanted to know. I didn't want to know. You said you wanted to know. Well, I didn't know I didn't want to know. You knew, and you know me, and you should have known I didn't want to know. You know? I'm realizing that Nick is kind of dumb. Hey, what's a four-letter word for cut? Nick. Yeah? It means a four-letter word for cut. What is? Nick. What? Oh, I got it. Shave. <laughs> this is an intervention. <clears throat> a quintervention. OK, time for my stuff. Guys, I was sitting at home last night, and all of a sudden, I had epiphany. And my epiphany was this. Actually, it's, uh, it's a epiphany. No, Ted, this is the epiphany. He's a dog. He's totally a dog. What, you, you saw him hitting on someone? No, no, I didn't say he a dog. I said he's a dog, as in a dog. I think we've all noticed a few curious mannerisms. Or, uh, rather, dogerisms. <laughs> he's not a dog. Robin, it's fine. You said you wanted a dog, and you got one. And the best part is, he got his shots. Hey, guys, got my shots? <laughs> you are so playful. Nice job fetching those. Guys, yeah, guys, cut it out. Scooby, sit. <laughs> so, Scooby, we were thinking if you're going to be hanging out with our Robin, you should be properly vetted. Uh, yeah, and we hope uh, our nosiness doesn't give you pause. How did you meet? Tell us the tale. Yes, how did you whisk her off her feet? Shed a little light on the matter. Did you send her an email, or did you call her? Guys, just stop hounding him. Oh, jeez. I cannot believe that Mini Mart sold Tantrum. It's been discontinued for years. Uh, hey, <clears throat> will you, uh, toss me that bottle? Yeah, we haven't done this forever. Dude, you're a grown man. Why are you throwing a tantrum? <laughs> nice. Yeah, you know, no, you're right, Robin. We don't want your new guy to flee. We're just trying to make sure he's not a heel. So, moving from Canada, that, uh, that transition must have been pretty rough. Sure was. My part of Canada is pretty different from New York. Oh, I bet it was an incredible journey. What part of Canada is that? Speak. Labrador. <laughs> this isn't happening. A butcher, a baker, a candlestick maker. Yes, we're to the rhyming section now. A math professor, a tax assessor, a weight guesser. A circuit court... Get to the point! You should call her. Call her? Robin, three things. She had a nice face, her booty was in place, but Barney don't chase. Ugh. Whoa, it's way more than 20, and be smooth don't do nothing roughly. Mm. Be my stand-in and put your gland in. Hey, wow, that'd be good on a hat. I've begun a strict no-shave policy for the first three dates. It's all about self-control. If I don't shave, I must behave. Plays tennis, check. Uh, favorite book is Love in the Time of Cholera, check. I read that. More like Love in the Time of Don't Bother Up. <laughs> you overthink. Maybe you should overdrink. Arrivederci, Fiero. You were the freaking giving tree of cars. Oh, may you rust in peace. <laughs> Rod in hell, devil steed.